What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. And here's my next episode of Joe Winko Talk. So first, I want to say Merry Christmas Eve to everyone. And speaking of that, I want to give a shout out to one of my super awesome friends, Brian, who got me an Amazon card from my Amazon wish list. So thank you so much, Brian. Shout out to Brian. I really appreciate it. You're very awesome. And I really appreciate it too. <laughs> so thank you. All right. Um, speaking of Christmas, what I'm going to be talking about in this episode of Joe Winko Talk is um, it's this news story I found online of... Um, well, I found it online. It was featured on the Young Turks, and it's a pretty interesting one, too. There's this elderly couple from California. They got busted um, by police for having 60 pounds of marijuana. And uh, and uh, when I saw this on the Young Turks, I was just like, what? And I'll have a link to the Young Turks episode and the whole news story article in the pinned comments. Okay, so it says here that the elderly couple was caught driving through rural Nebraska with hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of marijuana in their vehicle. They were simply spreading holiday cheer, they told the authorities. Patrick Ger Jerome, 80 years old, and Barbara Jerome, 83 years old, were pulled over Tuesday during a traffic stop by deputies with the York County Sheriff's Department, who made a shocking discovery. The Jerones, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name right, forgive me if I'm not. Um, the Jerones had 60 pounds of high-grade pot in their pickup trucks, authorities said. The couple from Northern California, uh, of course they're from California if they have that much, told the authorities they were en route to Vermont, and the marijuana was Christmas presents. Oh my god. <laughs> Those are literally the flyest grandparents ever. That's awesome. Um, like, they were arrested, but they're not in jail right now. Um, that's what I heard on the Young Turks episode, that they're not in jail anymore. So I'm glad that they aren't. Like, uh, don't get me wrong, I definitely do not smoke weed or smoke marijuana or pot at all. I, I never do that. The reason why is because it's illegal and because I don't want to break any laws because I never broke a single law in my life. And I probably wouldn't even do it anyway because, um, I don't know. I've heard that it can make you go schizophrenic. I, that could just be a rumor, but I don't know. Back when I was a teenager, I always thought that, uh marijuana should be illegal but you know nowadays um now since i'm older and i know that people enjoy it so much i don't think it should be illegal really because it doesn't really i never heard of marijuana causing someone to do stuff really bad really because alcohol i know alcohol makes people act really stupid i don't drink alcohol either i'm actually straight edge for all you who don't know i don't drink smoke or do any kinds of drugs because i'm straight edge and i'm proud of it too but you know i don't mind if like someone wants to smoke weed but the only concern i have with it is that it's illegal really but a lot of states are now making it legal to smoke weed, like medical mar marijuana in California. And I also heard that Colorado is making uh, marijuana legal. And also there's an increase in the sales of Girl Scout cookies because when people smoke, I heard that when people smoke weed, they get the munchies and they feel like eating a lot of stuff. Just like Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen the Scooby-Doo cartoon? They always are, like, trying to find food and everything, and people are saying that they have the munchies. That's why they're always trying to find food. But, you know, if people really want to smoke marijuana, I, I say just let them smoke marijuana. It's fine. I mean, um, and also another thing, in Arkansas, I've heard that they do have medical marijuana legalized now, and if you have autism, like I do, you can get a prescription for medical marijuana in the state of Arkansas. So, that, that's another thing Arkansas has going for it. But, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not in a rush to get that at all. I'm already weird enough without marijuana, so I, I don't know what effect it would have on me, so, um... I uh, probably would rather not find out.
I guess. I don't know. But it doesn't matter to me, really. Um, i known some people, like back when I was living in Wisconsin, i known some people who would smoke marijuana, and I would never care at all, really. And I don't think it should be, like, illegal. I heard that people have gone to jail for a really long time for possession of marijuana, and I think that's kind of stupid. But... I'm glad that the, this couple, I'm glad that they didn't put them in jail, but they had thousands of dollars worth of marijuana. I wonder how they got all of that. And let me see. There's another quote that just stood out to me. It says, in 2015, Governor Pete Ricketts called the substance a dangerous drug. As the use of marijuana has been legalized in some states, including our neighbor, Colorado. Yeah, it is legal in Colorado, because Colorado is only one state away from Nebraska. I just remember that. Um, we have been able to observe the impact of the legalization of marijuana has had, not only in their state, but as well as our own. Legalization of marijuana for any purpose has proven risky position because the controls placed on its use in other states have fallen short. Okay, so they didn't, they didn't explain exactly what marijuana does, like what negative effects it has. You think that if it, you would think that if marijuana was a dangerous drug, they would at least explain how it's dangerous. Like it makes people run people over, or it makes people shoot people. Like they didn't have that typed in the article at all. So, um, <laughs> in, uh, the Young Turks episode, the girl who was talking about it, I think her name is Hannah, I seen her, she was a reporter on a couple episodes, she said that, um, she says that the couple are Mr. and Mrs. Claus, <laughs> gosh, that's why I love the Young Turks, that, that show is hilarious, I think everyone, I think everyone should watch it, they were like the coolest news reporters ever. I'll have a link to the episode in the pinned comments. So, I thought that was very interesting. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's basically it for this episode of Joe Winko Talk. So, I would love to hear, um, what do you guys think of all this? What do you think of this story? Do you think that they were... The, like, I thought that they were getting the marijuana for their grandchildren at first, but what do you think they were doing with it? Do you think that they're, like, drug dealers or something? You usually wouldn't think of people in their 80s being drug dealers, but sky's the limit. You never really know. It still makes me laugh. I think they're super badass old people. It's hilarious. But, you know, I hope they got their marijuana back. I hope they didn't, um... I hope the cops didn't, like, seize it all. And what are the cops going to do with it anyway? Smoke it themselves? I wouldn't be surprised. Because <laughs> it is true. I mean, they always, like, confiscate drugs all the time, so probably using it for themselves. That's the reason why they want to keep it illegal, so they can keep confiscating it, and so they can keep using it on themselves. Oh, marijuana is bad. Make it illegal so I can confiscate it and smoke it myself. It's exactly how they all are. <laughs> Hypocrites. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, please uh, comment and share your thoughts on what you think of this story. I honestly think it's hilarious. Once again, thanks so much to Brian. I really appreciate it. And, uh... Yeah, that's basically it. I also recorded an episode of the United States of Joe Winko earlier this morning. I'm going to be uploading that, too. I'm going to try to upload it before I upload this one. And I hope everyone has a nice Christmas and a Happy New Year, too. It's, yeah, it's crazy. It's, um, how many days are left? There's only eight days left in year 2017. Gosh. But, you know, it really felt like this year, like, dragged on forever, really. But it is the year where I made the most episodes of Joe Winko talk. So, I'll give it that. So, that's basically it. So, don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. So, that's it. Peace out, people.